We at war, we at war with terrorism, racism, but most of all, we at war with ourselves. <laughs> Those Kanye West Sunday services be jamming. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Viral Report. I'm Lamar. All right, so I want to come on and ask, what is your New Year's resolution and does it include going to one of Kanye West's Sunday services? The, the footages I've been seeing online, they really, really do look like they're having a great time. The choir look like it's having a great time. The audience look like they're having a great time. So are you going to one of his Sunday services this year? I want to know because, you know, he's taking this thing on the road and he's visiting different cities. What do you think? Would you ever attend one? Because you know what? I didn't really think him. <laughs> but before I tell you if I'm going to actually go to one of Kanye's Sunday services in 2020, I want you all to go ahead and check out Pastor He, Pastor Jesus, Pastor Blood on the Leaves. I want you all to go ahead and check out this sermon that I guess uh, Kanye West <laughs> is, is preaching. It's one of his recent videos that's gone viral. A few days ago and I want you all to check out one of his guest pastors or guest speakers at one of his Sunday services and then I'll tell you all if I'm actually gonna go to Kanye West's Sunday services and what to do I'm expressing what I've been through cuz you know people love to take a sound bite and say this was not exactly devil approved by the internet you could be speaking on something that's God proof. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all kind of songs you be dancing to, twerking to, them artists trying to play T.I. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about. They try to play T.I., but he talking about something that's God approved. It's 30 states that still got the death penalty. Thou should not kill. But we be cool with that. And God will show you. We had no idea that we were going to be here on the 52nd week, but I promise. So today marks one year of Sunday service. I definitely saw a strong, compelling vision with the homeless problem. Someone I asked me, when you sit at the Christmas party talking to Elon Musk, Chambers name drop, um, what is y'all talking about? Well, this is what we need to be talking about. Are these solutions? A lot of times people say, thank you, yay, for Sunday service. I'm, I'm saying, thank God. This thing saved my life. This thing was an alternative to opioids. This thing was an alternative to pornography. Hey, I wanna, I wanna talk with you tonight. My name is Kerwin Lee, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta in the house! And I wanna talk to you for a few minutes about decisions that, that will determine your destiny. Decisions that will determine your destiny. When I was in the sixth grade, I had an opportunity to play basketball with a fella by the name of Maurice Williams. Maurice was six foot six in the sixth grade. Maurice could run, Maurice could dribble, Maurice could shoot, Maurice could even slam dunk in the sixth grade. And whenever we would play a game, we would always give the ball to Maurice and he would always score 30 points, grab 20 rebounds, block 10 shots. He was literally our star player. And one day, some of my friends came to our game. It was an AAU championship game, a very close game, and with five seconds remaining, our team was down by one point, but we had the ball. The coach called timeout, and as I walked over to the huddle, I looked up at my friends, and they were motioning with their hands, you shoot the ball, you shoot the ball. 
But when we got in the huddle, guess who the coach called to play for? Maurice. Maurice. But every time I looked at my friends, they said, you shoot the ball. It didn't matter that Maurice had already scored 40 points. It didn't matter that I hadn't scored the whole game. But my friends still told me to shoot the ball. And the play was called. The ball was to come to me. I was to throw it to Maurice. And we were to hang our championship hopes on Maurice's last shot. The ball came to me. I looked at Maurice. He looked like he was open. But then again, he looked like he wasn't open. <laughs> Anybody want to guess what I did? I took the shot. And I missed the shot. I missed the shot. And we lost the game. My teammates wanted to know, why did you shoot the ball? The cheerleaders wanted to know, why did you shoot the ball? The parents wanted to know, why did you shoot the ball? My own friends who told me to shoot the ball, guess what they wanted to know? Why did you shoot the ball? And I'll never forget it when we got in the locker room. The coach said, I need everybody to stop giving Kerwin a hard time because he made a bad decision. He made a bad decision. And you know what? None of us have any room to talk about any of us. Because all of us in here tonight have been guilty of making some bad decisions. Look at somebody on your road. Say, you've made some bad decisions. Tell the person told you, takes one to know one. All right, so y'all just seen... You know, that sermon from like both Kanye and his guest speaker. And I don't understand what the hell that was. So if I'm going to a Kanye West Sunday service in 2020, hell to the no. I'm not going to that. I'm not spending no money traveling down there. I'm not giving them one red cent of my hard earned money. One, because I don't think that Kanye is really sincere about this Christianity journey. I think that, you know, Kanye has reached the pinnacle of success for himself. You know, there is no ladder or a ceiling that he can break through anymore. He's been on the top of the charts. He's had successful businesses. You know, he's um, had his clothing line. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure who's buying that stuff, you know, and apparently nobody's buying the damn stuff because he's recycling it and just giving it to the damn church choir. <laughs> they're wearing his damn gear. And I just don't like the whole premise of the, the Sunday services. I don't like how they dress. It seems so, I don't know, you know, in those futuristic movies where the world is uh, doom and gloom and people are living underground, they dress like they're in the damn matrix. Like the, those hand-me-down clothes, like you just, you know, you don't have the proper tools to sew things on and, and, and actually cut things because there's not a proper sewing machine. So it, maybe it's all hand stitched and hand, the fabric's hand cut. That's what his clothing line looks like. It's a very depressing line. I think Kanye West's clothing line speaks a lot about his current personality, his frame of mind. Ever since his mom passed, he really hasn't been the same. Having Kim Kardashian as, as his wife and the woman by his side and the, the first lady of these damn churches, <laughs> these on the go, pretty much fast food, Christianity tours. Um, <laughs> that's what they are, in my opinion, you know, and I don't think that is anything of substance coming out of these Sunday services. That's just in my opinion. Now, I will have to go for research purposes. And who knows? I may go for research purposes and I'll take you all there. But we'll see. OK, we'll see. I don't want to be brainwashed by all this Hollywood nonsense. You know, I'd be coming back <laughs> telling you that crack is good. Snort a few lines. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like the whole premise of this. I just don't think that it's coming from a genuine place. I think that, like I said earlier, Kanye has reached the pinnacle of success for himself. There's nothing more that he can do. So he's actually like, what else? Can I do? You know what? I'll start a Sunday service. I'll have people come out and they'll donate to my church and I'll make money that way because records aren't selling. People aren't buying the records like they used to. And I don't really want to go on tour sweating and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweat for Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to bring Jesus walks to 
every city across America. And um, I don't know, is this thing going to last? I don't know. Is it going to last three, four, five years from now? Who knows? I think the goal for Kanye is to set these um, little uh, churches in different states like franchises, you know, like little fast food joints. That's what I'm equating this whole Christianity thing to. I just think that it's just something to do to just to get away from Kim and those damn kids. To get away from the Kardashians, you get to hit the road. People are going to donate. People are going to come out and support because one, they want to see Kanye, who's a celebrity. That's who's coming to his, his, his shows. People who are just intrigued by this whole thing. People who are looking to be reformed, looking for a message. And what way to get people behind you or to brainwash people, use Christianity. And people have been doing that for decades, you know, and centuries. And I have been, I've been thinking about actually releasing um, a video that shows how Christianity started. And I know that's a controversial topic right there. I'm known for being controversial outside of YouTube, saying controversial things. But I think Christianity was mainly pushed to control the masses. Think about it. If Christianity was not formed, was not a thing today, think of how society would be, how chaotic it would be. You know, because people, when you think about, if you're looking to reform yourself, where, what's the first thing you're going to go do? Yeah, you're going to go to rehab, but in that process, you're discovering what? Religion is it, it, the, the main thing that people are going to go and seek when they're trying to uh, reform themselves, you know, whether they, they're incarcerated. Religion, it all ties back. Hey, that's just my take on uh, the Christianity thing. Um, I definitely want to make a video highlighting how Christianity entered African-American lives and it was all formed on the plantation and that's a very interesting story maybe we'll do that for black history month or something of that nature but yeah so uh in conclusion no i'm not going to uh kanye west's uh sunday service unless you all want me to then i'll see if i could uh book a flight somewhere or drive uh to one of his sunday services but hey we may take the viral report on the road and go to one of these uh slave sh christian slave shows and uh, <laughs> and see what all the circus is about. You know, people who have been have given it a you know great reviews. Um, so we'll see. But you know, I just don't think that Kanye West is in this for the long haul. And I don't really see Kim Kardashian there at many of his shows. That tells me that you know she may not believe in this whole parade that Kanye's putting on. If you've been to one of these Kanye West clown shows or Christianity shows, let me know in the comment section below. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell, baby, because, hey, we got more videos coming. I'll see you in 2020. Peace! God, show me the way because the devil's trying to break me down. Are you about to kill this man? Cut these niggas like... Who the... to get this party started if you made it this far in the video do me a favor hit that subscribe like and that notification bell it ain't a party until you subscribe i love you for watching and i'll see that beautiful face in the next one peace perfect